breaking news from the United States, uh, Baltimore. At about 1.30 a.m., 5.30 GMT, the Francis Scott Key Bridge in the U.S. city of Baltimore collapsed after a ship collided with it. Media reports said the vessel crashed into the bridge and rescue effort is underway. Well, mm. as you said earlier, it's a developing mass casualty yeah. uh, event. Uh, as the story uh, develops, we'll get to know. But just to note that uh, that bridge is named after Francis Scott Key, uh, poet, lawyer, you know, uh, the author of the test of the U.S. national anthem, yeah. the Star Spangled uh, uh, Banner. Uh, yeah. So it's a very also historical, symbolic bridge, but... Mm. You know, any accident anywhere in the world touches us. Uh, you said yeah. earlier on that, you know, uh, seven persons uh, have been identified as casualties. Vehicles who were also told, yeah, you yeah. know, uh, uh, collapsed into the water. But mm. clearly, a tragedy. And, 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 and it has to be said, you know, I'm happy about the poetic era you put into it. Something very instructive about Francis Scott Key was that he penned the Star Spangled Banner, yes. after he went to the harbor of Baltimore and saw the disaster that happened after the British had Whoa. pounded Baltimore in the War of Baltimore. And that was where he wrote the Star Spangled Banner. And, and the historical incident was that he still saw his Star Spangled Banner, you know, that the flag was still there. And he penned this ode to America, as it were. And it's, it's based on that, and that's the historical symbolism, why the bridge in Baltimore and all the things that he had done. But as regards that, there have been some updates. About 20 people are said to be in the river. You know, there's also a case of hypothermia, you know, that, that people that are in the water might die from that. The ship has been identified. It's called the Dali. It's about a 300-meter, you, know, you know, long ship. It was said to be going all the way uh, to uh, Sri Lanka, you know, and it's a cargo ship. It was said to have stopped around that area for a while. It was supposed to normally pass underneath the bridge, underneath the open space underneath the bridge, but they did not know why, you know, it, it hit there. There was said to be a trailer on the bridge, you know, when, when it came down, and a couple of other people are in their investigations and on as, as regards to you know, what really happened, and helicopters have been hovering around there. So we've got an updated number as regards that, and let's see how that pans out. Accidents are part of human experience. They're very sad.